continuing from our previous video where we configured Zoom for the Buddy Boss platform. In this video, I am going to guide you through how to set up and configure Zoom integration for your social groups. It is expected that you have already configured Zoom inside the Buddy Boss platform. If you haven't already, please watch our previous Zoom integration tutorial video. If that's already taken care of, let's configure Zoom into social groups. I will use the Nature Lovers group for this video. Then I'm going to the Manage screen. Because we enabled Zoom for groups in the integration settings, we have a new Zoom tab here. So now we have to connect this group through a server-to-server -server OAuth app in your Zoom account. I will check this box that says yes, I want to connect this group to Zoom. Now we have two tabs here, authentication and group permissions, which lets me select the permissions of who can manage Zoom meetings. For now, I'll select organizers only and then click save the settings. This is basically telling me which roles in the group are able to edit, delete and create new meetings. However, it's not controlling who's actually hosting the meetings. That's controlled by Zoom based on who's the default host and the alternate host. At this point, the group organizer is going to have to go through similar steps to what we did earlier, where they will have to create an app and authenticate that app to the group. Now, we realize that this is a little bit complicated to do. So, to make it as easy as possible for your group organizers, we've created this setup wizard that just guides them step by step on how to do this. When they click on the setup wizard button, a pop-up will show that will guide them step by step with explanations and screenshots, showing them how to set up the app in the Zoom account and connect it properly. All right, the first step on the setup wizard is going to the Zoom app marketplace and signing in. We're going to assume that your group organizer has their own Zoom account. Next up, go into the develop dropdown, then click build app. Click create under server to server OAuth and enter an app name just like we did earlier. Let's try to follow the steps. So I will click build app, then click create under server to server OAuth. I'll call this nature lovers just so I remember that this is for our group Next, I'll add some data under the information tab and click continue. It tells us here to add the personal info. Click continue as this is mandatory before you can activate your app. Based on our setup wizard, our next step is to paste our secret token and turn on these event subscriptions. What this does is it allows all the meetings to sync back into the group. Meaning, let's say our group has 10 meetings in it and I go into Zoom and delete one of those meetings or edit one of those meetings. We would want that to be reflected back into the group and the only way to do that is through these event subscriptions. We don't need this on our Gutenberg block because in that scenario, each block represents one meeting. So it's very easy for Zoom to sync the data back and forth to that one meeting. But in the group, the group is a collection of many meetings that all need to be mapped back and forth, which is a little bit complicated to do, but we managed to make it work. So it tells us here that we want to go into the feature tab and then copy this secret token. Then under general features, enable event subscriptions and click add event subscription. We can give the subscription any name that we want. It doesn't really matter. The key step is that we have to grab the notification URL and paste it here. So if you come back here and click the copy link, 
we're giving you that URL to paste. Then click Validate. After that, you need to add events for the app to subscribe to. Click Add Events and now add the following permissions under each section for meeting. Start meeting, end meeting. Meeting has been updated and meeting has been deleted. For webinar, start webinar, end webinar. Webinar has been updated and webinar has been deleted. And for recording, all recordings have been completed. Once done, click save, then continue to go to the next step. Now we need to add the appropriate account permissions from the scopes tab. Click add scopes and add the following permissions under each scope type. For meeting, view all user meetings and view and manage all user meetings. For webinar, view all user webinars and view and manage all user webinars. For recording, view all user recordings. For user, view all user information and view users information and manage users. And for report, view report data. At this point, you should see that you have eight scopes added. Once all these have been enabled, click done and then continue to the last step. With all the previous steps completed, your app should now be ready for activation. Go to the activation tab and click activate your app. You should see a message that says your app is activated on the account. At this point, we are now ready to head to the final task of the setup. Now we can go back to the app credentials tab so we can actually paste these right into the setup wizard. We're going to grab our account ID, client ID, client secret key and select the Zoom account email on the drop down. Once everything is filled out, don't forget to click save. You have now successfully connected Zoom to your social group. Now that we've entered all the Zoom credentials, a Zoom tab has been added to our group menu. Here, we can actually start creating meetings. So I'm gonna create a meeting from the front end that will appear in this group. I'll call it Friday Update Meeting. I'll leave the password blank for now. And I'll say that it's gonna be on Friday and it's gonna be two hours. For the time zone, I'll leave it as is. I'll say that I wanna start the video when the host joins the meeting. We also have our standard meeting options here. In terms of recording the meeting, the account that I just connected to this group is a free account, so I can only record it on my computer. If I was using a paid account, it would give me the option to record to the cloud or to record to my computer. The host is going to be me, as I have the default account email. Now let's create this meeting. And there we go. We have a meeting scheduled within the Zoom tab in our group, and we can see that it has a countdown to when the meeting is starting. Here I can view the invitation or copy it. And because we added that verification token, if I update this meeting from Zoom, it should auto sync back. But if for some reason that doesn't work, you can always click the sync button, which will manually pull all the updates from Zoom and resync. If I go into the activity feed, you can see that there's an activity post created in the group for the upcoming meeting with our countdown timer and everything. And if I switch to Robert, who is a member of the Nature Lovers group, we can see that I got a notification saying Zoom meeting created in the group Nature Lovers. So we are also notifying your users about meetings that are being scheduled.
All right, we can go into past meetings and this little icon indicates that the meeting has recordings and shows how many recording files there are. I can check recorded and that will filter this list down to just the ones with recordings. So for this meeting as an example, I can click show recordings and I can see all the recordings. Let's go back to upcoming meetings. And from here we can delete this upcoming meeting or I can edit the meeting and modify it for my group. And that's how you set up the Zoom integration for your Buddy Boss social groups. We hope you've enjoyed this and our previous tutorial where we've integrated Zoom with the Buddy Boss platform. It's a fantastic video solution that provides more user engagement and activity as groups get to host meetings or webinars straight from your platform.